I love that magical introduction. I don't know about you, but something about the season, something about this month just, just brings out everything in me to sort of be more excited, more joyful, more positive because I stay forever hopeful. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Kuber. I am a CICC, Licensed Immigration Consultant. ICCRC has changed to CICC. That's our new regulatory body. So I'm a CICC Immigration Consultant. There are a lot of you who are coming to Canada as international students, okay? And you fall into these traps of these agents and all these so-called consultants who obviously are not consultants and they don't have your best interest in their, in, your, in their mind, but they only have their own interest in their mind because they only want to secure you an admission, hopefully get you your approval if they can and get their commission from the college. That is their interest. But in the whole process of doing that, they will either create fake documents for you OK, they will either disclose additional information, which is not true, or they will hide or they will not disclose critical information about your application or they will they will uh, twist or manipulate the information of your application. Sometimes you know about it. Sometimes you don't know about it. One example is that they may create fake documents for your work experience, which you've never had. Uh, they may disclose that kind of work experience just so that they could create your uh, profile in line with the kind of program they have chosen for you. Or they may hide your education. So for example, you have completed a master's degree, you have a master's degree, but they tell you don't disclose your master's degree because if you tell them that you have a master's degree, you will not get admission for your diploma program and you hide that information. Uh, what happens is, and this is now, this is now becoming more and more obvious, that as an international student, you may get your approval, of course, right? And, and because the, the amount of scrutiny that happens at that point of time is significantly less, okay? Once you come to Canada, then you want to file your PR application. Now, at the time of filing your PR application, you realize you need some additional points and a master's degree can help you get those additional points. You have a master's degree, you have the equivalency of master's degree, but you are now thinking, should I disclose? Should I not disclose? Now, if you are going to disclose now you see this is this is the this is the situation you are in if you disclose you would have committed or disclosed your misrepresentation that you committed in your study permit application if you don't disclose you are still committing misrepresentation by not disclosing very important material information so you are in a bit of a situation very very recently there have been three applications which i have come across where all three were were identified as having committed misrepresentation in their previous applications and they were obviously you know, banned for five years. Their applications were refused. So please, for God's sake, IRCC is now using artificial intelligence at a very high level. I mean, not a very high level, but at more and more levels, more and more visa offices. We will be talking about that artificial intelligence a bit later on, not today, but in another video. But if you if you are interested, then, then Google Chinook. A lot of people have been talking about it. IRCC has been using it for several years right now. And they do this to do a batch processing so that they can handle several applications at the same time. But if artificial intelligence can do batch processing for them, why can't artificial intelligence pick, pick up these information as in what you have disclosed, what you have not disclosed, what is the irregularity? Uh, you are using an agent. The agent is using a template format of a, of a SOP, just replacing your name and college name and program with different, you, you, I mean, for an artificial intelligence software to pick up these kind of inconsistencies is is going to be like like you know like it will work like a charm in fractions of second these will be identified mind you a visa officer takes no more than 10 to 11 minutes to handle a, a study permit application and they do not have the time to read through all your five or ten pages of sop and go through every single document so the critical information that you provide is important and more than that what you need to do is provide them with the genuine information. Don't lie. Don't hide. You will face problems later on. And then you will find yourself in a very, very difficult situation. So please be careful. Please be mindful. Always disclose correct information. Uh, as I said, if you are not following us on Instagram, then you should. That's the link. We have um, Sunday mornings, coffee mornings. So it'll be good to chat on something which is non-immigration related. And if you wish to book an appointment uh, to discuss your application, your case one-on-one, -on -one, then that this is the link. So, you know, you can click on this link, check on this link and book an appointment. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for joining in. Stay safe, take care and all the best.